The alien fish character in Men in Black 3 was always intended to be a comedic character, but at the same time, we also needed it to be a monster. The early design phases of this creature were exploring different ideas about how monstrous to make it or how comedic to make it. Some were more funny than others, and some had a more dangerous quality to them. In the early animation tests, we were exploring how this thing could move. What kind of behavior would it have when it's out of the water? One of the things that we do is we'll frequently look to nature, especially when we're dealing with fantasy creatures like this. We want to ground it in a reality. So we looked at a lot of footage of sea elephants and walruses, which were a bit more blubbery, and we needed it to be a much stronger, more powerful, muscled creature. But this was a good place to start, and we got a lot of good ideas from nature. We took single frames from the sequence and posed the character in specific poses. And you could see right away that the jaw of the character didn't seem strong enough to support the action, especially when it's trying to swallow a full-size man. I started looking for other kinds of reference that might help us. I came across a prehistoric fish called a Dunkleosteus that had a much stronger, more powerful jaw. And so we used that as a basis for modeling the face of the alien fish. This shot starts like practically every shot that we do with previs. Will Smith walks into the kitchen. Will Smith gets thrown out of the kitchen. Then we see the alien fish come right into camera. They shot the basic elements, Will Smith walking into the kitchen. Then as a completely separate setup, a stuntman getting pulled out of the kitchen. And that was basically the shot. At Imageworks, we put these two pieces of film together and we started blocking out the animation of the fish. Very rough form, just to get the basic idea of where the fish should be at what time. Effects animation then would use that to run a simulation pass for the tables and chairs that the fish is knocking over. We continued to refine the animation, the whiskers moving, the skin jiggling, the weight of the creature, adding more detail to it to bring it to life. The effects animation department would then take our animation and add a slime pass on top of it. In the end, many talented ImageWorks artists and technicians worked together to bring the alien fish to life.